Hi everyone, I'm Snow. Welcome back to my channel. It's great to see you here. Last year on December 31st, I was getting ready for New Year's Eve dinner. I really want to film my handbag collection video. And that's how I started my YouTube journey. At the beginning of the journey, I received lots of great feedback from family and friends. And I also received warm encouragement to make me keep going. I'm definitely really proud that I started to build a community on YouTube. Today, I want to share my experience with you and go through my current channel stats and what I've learned. First, let's take a look at my channel stats. I don't use many fancy tools to track my stats. Basically, I just use YouTube Studio. At the time when I'm filming this video, I have 204 subscribers. In terms of watch hours, I have 655 public watch hours in the last 365 days and I have 5.1k public short views in the last 90 days. In total, I released 40 videos and 2 shorts so far. In order to monetize your channel on YouTube, you need 1000 subscribers and also 4000 public watch hours in the last 365 days. So it's a rolling watching hour. You can't count the past. It was definitely much harder than I thought. Naively, I thought by the end of 2023, I would definitely have at least more than 500 followers. However, I was proven wrong. <laughs> I was definitely too optimistic. Hopefully the algorithm will love me better in 2024. In terms of my best performing and least performing videos, the best performing videos are my handbag reviews. Both videos got more than 3000 views. The least performing videos are my vlogs. And it makes sense because I don't have a large audience yet and vlogs, it's more personal. But I think I'll still continue to produce travel vlogs and vlogs because it's fun for me to watch it later too. And for my shorts, the most popular videos are cats videos. In 2024, if you watched my New Year Vision video, you know that I would love to reach 1000 subscribers. So please, 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 if you're watching, please subscribe to this channel. Thank you. If you're already subscribed, please keep watching my videos. I would really appreciate that. In the next section, I would like to talk about the skills I've learned since becoming a YouTuber. The biggest thing is definitely filming and editing. I'm currently still filming using my iPhone. In the past, I just have one iPhone and a very simple tripod and I just started talking to the camera. I tried one editing tool. I don't even know how to cut, how to add sound, how to add music. 2023, I definitely learned a lot in terms of how to make the video more fun, how to add stickers, how to make the transition more smooth. In 2024, I decided to try out a different editing tool. You may also know that I started to edit on my iPad, which is another improvement. The second skill I learned is definitely scripting. I remember when I filmed my first video, I didn't do any scripting. I just look at my bags and say whatever I want to say. Now for each video, I pre-plan when will I be releasing this video and I write down all the key points and my script for the video. I use Trello to manage all my script and my publication schedules. It's pretty much a project for me to manage. The third skill that I learned is how to make YouTube thumbnail. I watched so many videos about how to get more people to watch my video. Thumbnail clearly plays a big, big role in terms of getting more views and getting more click. Now I spend lots of time editing my image and think about what's the concept for my thumbnail. In the past, I just used simple photo editing tools. Now I use Canva to make YouTube thumbnails to make the thumbnail more engaging. The fourth skill that I've learned is talking to the camera and speech skill. At first, I definitely froze in front of the camera. And even though I had done the scripting and I've been looking at it, trying to remember it. But when I look at the camera, I just froze. This definitely took practice and now I feel a little bit more comfortable talking to the camera. It's still not perfect. And when I look back to my videos on YouTube, I still want to look more confident and talk more naturally. I remember there were times when I need to film a video that I felt my heart's pounding and my hands getting sweaty. But now 
I feel like it's more natural and I can just talk to a camera. Imagine the camera as a friend. Next section, I would like to talk about some of my reflections. The first reflection that I had is about insecurity. At the beginning, when I started to film and edit my videos, I definitely felt a sense of insecurity. I worried about how I looked and how I sounded. In the past, I always considered myself as a confident person. In general, I had never worried about my look before, but videos definitely is a type of media that focus or put lots of emphasis on how you look. And I definitely want to be visually appealing on my videos. So at first I was not confident. I always felt like I need to do extra makeup. I need to look so good for the camera. That's when I realized that I don't need to be the perfect person for my channel. And I also worry that I sound stupid for this channel. That's why I started scripting instead of just saying random things. Now we're filming, I'm still trying to wash my hair and do a little bit makeup, make sure that I look presentable, but I stop worrying about being perfect. The second reflection that I have is about I should have smaller niche for my channel. In the beginning, I really want to capture the most audience that I can. So I had four areas that I was gonna cover, including luxury and handbags, budgeting videos, vlogs, and also talking about career and interviews. Not only that, I also want to do my videos both in English and in Chinese, so I can capture both English spoken and Chinese spoken audience. Quickly, I learned that making all those videos are tiring, and also my stats weren't doing great, especially for the Chinese spoken videos. It was also hard to plan videos for all the four areas all the time. That's why in the middle of the year, I decided to stop doing Chinese videos. And I'm hoping that my Chinese audience can just understand English or they can just use subtitles. And I also decided to decrease my niche from four areas to three areas only. So now I'm just focusing on doing luxury handbag, budget, and uh, vlogs. I don't think I have energy to do Korea and interview coaching anymore on this channel. And that's okay, even three areas seems a lot and I'll continue monitor my stats and see if I should keep doing those areas. Finding a niche is definitely the most important part of being a YouTuber. As a newbie, I'm still exploring and keep learning. And the third reflection that I have, it's a fun one. Cat videos are always gonna go viral. As I mentioned in the earlier section that I published about 52 shorts and those shorts are more random. I just cover cats videos. I do food videos. Sometimes I do stallion and unboxing videos, but cat videos always the most watched. I remember at early days, I post a cat video for 20 seconds and I gained 10 subscribers and the video that I spent hours editing and filming gets two views and has no subscriber. <laughs> I thought about, should I just be a cat YouTuber at this point? That's my third reflection. People love cats. And if you want to gain followers fast, get a cat. <laughs> and if you are someone who also inspired to become a YouTuber and you're interested in what kind of filming tool that I have, right now I'm still filming on my iPhone 13 Pro Max. In terms of microphones, I use the Hollyland and it's for the iPhone. If you have a camera, you can get the camera version. I think the first two videos that I put out, I didn't have a microphone. The feedback that I got is, oh, you need one. No one can hear what you're talking about. So I think microphone is a good investment if you start your YouTube channel. I also have some extra lights. Today is a sunny day, so I don't need it. But sometimes it's gloomy and dark outside. I have some lights is very helpful. I also invested in a better gimbal and which is a stand that it, it can work as a gimbal and also as a tripod. I haven't really used the gimbal for my vlogs because sometimes it looks too pretentious with a thumbing stick working everywhere. Most days I just use my hand to hold my phone and film my vlog. One time I used the gimbal is when I do the Christmas vlog and still it was a quiet day, lots of people were watching though. 
for my editing tool, I currently use CapCut. It's very easy to use and it's very easy to learn. Before October 2023, I've been using one from China and they charge about $100 per year. But CapCut is free and has all the functions that the other one has. So I switched to CapCut. If you see my iPad unboxing video, you know that I started to editing my videos on my iPad instead of using my phone. That was such a big improvement. I can finally see clearly. And Last part, let's talk about reality. Should I continue? The answer is yes. First, I still have passion and interest in filming and producing more videos. Second, I still want to share and there are still so many things I would like to share with broader audience. It's, it makes me happy and if I can build a community or build a circle here, it would be amazing. I would really love to get to the good side of the algorithm. Please, the algorithm God. I'm praying. <laughs> Hopefully one video will go viral and I'll get my thousand subscriber. Last but not the least, I would really really love your feedback. Please tell me, how can I make my videos better? Let me know what are the things you'd like to see. I know it's not easy to start and I hope that my video showed you a tiny little bit of the reality of being a YouTuber. Let's grow together on YouTube. Thank you for watching today's video. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. If you want to share your YouTube experience journey with me, please leave it in the comment section below. Or if you have any feedback, please leave it there as well. Most importantly, please subscribe to this channel so I can continue grow on this platform. Thank you for watching. Have a great day. Bye.